Hey friends, uh, I just wanted to do a very quick video recording and show you how to identify spammy links and disavow links for your website. I'm going to be using a tool called SEMrush. I'll leave a link in the description below which comes with a free trial if you want to follow along with this process. So go ahead and just click on it and sign up for a free account. And then once you sign up into the account, you'll be greeted with a screen like this. And all you got to do is uh, come down, scroll over here on the left corner and go to backlink audit. Once that loads, just click on create project. Now here I've actually already gone ahead and uh, done a project over here. So you got to click on create project, type in the domain name for your project. So I'm just going to uh, type in the domain name for one of my other websites and click on create project. And it's going to ask you a couple of additional info pieces of information here. You just want to make sure that you're checking it for the, you know, for the root domain, choose for the, uh, the option, which has the maximum number of backlinks and then click on start backlink audit. Once you do that, uh, you will see that the backlink auditing process begins. You'll see that it's already collecting and analyzing backlinks on your domain. And this process is going to take a little bit of time You know, it's going to take some time. So you can just sit back, take your time or maybe let it run in the background and perhaps come back in a few minutes. So I'm going to pause the video for now. So once you've uh, let SEMrush complete the process of uh, analyzing the backlinks on your website, you're going to end up with a screen like this. And uh, here you will see a lot of different pieces of information. It's easy to get overwhelmed, but don't worry. I'm going to walk you through what you need to do over here. Um, on this website, you'll see the overall toxicity score. It says high and that is one of the big factors possibly why my website could have been uh, you know could have been hit or penalized because it seems like there's at least google considers that this website is having a lot of spammy links now how do we how do we fix this right so you need to scroll down what you want to come to is you want to see this section right over here which basically talks about reviewing backlinks and uh, here it says there are 10 toxic backlinks and there are about 111 potentially toxic backlinks. So considering the overall number of links, that's a, a good, a, a very high percentage, right? Now what you want to do is uh, click on this toxic link over here as you hover over this number, click on it. This will open up all the toxic backlinks uh, for your website. And uh, the next thing that you need to do is just click through some of these links and see whether these links are indeed toxic. If you see this link, there's basically chunk of text which basically is not of any value i am actually going to consider this as a spammy link obviously it doesn't make any sense to have this kind of a link on any website and i would not want to be associated with a link like this now let me just check out a couple of other links over here just click through some of these other links now this website opens up into a normal website it seems to be a legitimate website over here but again it is not related to my website uh, or, or the content on my website so it doesn't make sense for me to be linked to a website like this so i'm going to consider this as spammy link as well so what you can do is uh, just highlight the links which you think are spammy just select them and then click on disavow then click on url and next click on move to disavow then you need to repeat the process for each of these links now the links which are considered as toxic i've seen in my experience they tend to be mostly spammy links i'm not going to go through each of these links over here although they're just eight links uh, depending on your website in your case i would probably just check them out you don't want to get rid of any links which are useful but when it when, when this report actually says that they're toxic in general they are toxic so what i'm going to do is just select all these links over here and disavow them all in one go so i'm going to click on disavow Click on URL and move to disavow. Okay, great. So now we don't have any other toxic links uh, at least present on this site. Now we want to go back to overview. And here we're going to scroll down back to this website. We see that all the toxic links have now been removed. Then we're going to click on potentially toxic links because these are also potentially toxic as the name suggests. And here we're going to repeat the same process once again. We're going to go through each of these links, just open them up in a new tab and check out whether these links are spammy or not. If you think that they are spammy, well, you know, clearly you definitely don't want to be associated with them as well. So in this case, again, there are a bunch of weird characters on this website. I don't want to be associated with this website, right? Uh, 
do this for each of these links i would highly recommend that you go through these links one by one and check them out especially if they are potentially toxic uh, unlike the toxic ones which are definitely going to be more or less toxic or spammy potentially toxic once in a while you'll come across uh, certain links which you know potentially are not toxic but have been labeled as toxic so just go through the list one by one and see whether some of them can actually are you know are not spammy and if that's the case you want you want to select them and uh, you know just click on whitelist so you know it gets selected to the whitelist list otherwise what i'm going to do is just select all of these links and click on disavow click on url and move to disavow then repeat the process once again for until you've you know disavowed all the urls which are present in this toxic or potentially toxic list Okay, great. So now we don't have any other potentially toxic or even toxic link. So we can check that out. Just double check it and verify whether we have gotten rid of all the toxic and potentially toxic links. Perfect. Now, the next thing that we need to do is uh, go to this tab over here called disavow. Basically, this is going to contain all the links that you have added to disavow on your website. Now, it's going to contain a huge list of all these links. What we need to do is not worry about these links specifically, but click on export to TXT. It will basically download a text file, the TXT file, with the list of all these links which have been, which you have selected as disavow. The next thing that you need to do is click on this uh, Google's disavow tool. This is the disavow tool provided by Google as part of the Google Search Console. Make sure that you're logged into the right account, uh, you know, the account that is associated, which is linked to the website, the Google search console of your website. And then click on select property over here. Scroll down to the property for which you want to disavow the links. Make sure that you select the HTTPS version of your website. Here, just click on upload disavow list and upload the file that we just downloaded. Here's the file. I'm just going to click on it and click on open. Just very quickly upload the file to the to the Google Search Console, and perfect. That's it. Once the file is uploaded, it Google Search Console will automatically disavow these links for your domain. So there you have it. That's basically the end-to-end -end process that is required. If you find this video to be helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you in my next video.